Mr. President. Yeah. 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 I had a call with President Putin and congratulated him on the victory, his electoral victory. The uh, call had to do also with the fact that we will uh, probably get together in the not too distant future so that we can discuss uh, arms, we can discuss the arms race. As you know, he made a statement that being in an arms race is not a great thing. That was right after the election, one of the first statements he made. And we are spending $700 billion this year in our military, and a lot of it is that we are going to remain stronger than any other nation in the world by far. We had a very good call, and I suspect that we'll probably be meeting in the not-too-distant future to discuss uh, the arms race, which is getting out of control, but we will never allow anybody to have anything even close to what we have. And also to discuss Ukraine and Syria and North Korea and various other things. So I think probably we'll be uh, seeing President Putin in the not too distant future. <laughs> Local, state, and federal are working hand in hand to get to the bottom of it. This is obviously a very, very sick individual, or maybe individuals. These are sick people, and we will get to the bottom of it. We will be very strong. We have all sorts of federal agencies over there right now. We're searching uh, what's going on in Austin, a great place, a tremendous place, is absolutely uh, disgraceful. So we have uh, a lot of power over there. We're looking. It's not easy to find. But these are sick people, and we have to find them as soon as possible. We have to find them really immediately. I will say working with Texas, working with the local governments uh, has been great. But we have to produce, we have to find this very sick person or people. Thank you all very much. All right,